Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. All right, guys. Well, we're back to talk about some Orange County, Real Housewives of Orange County. But before we do, you guys know how this works, all of it. Um, we definitely have to get in to the get subscribed. I cannot wait to talk to you guys about the birthday. I can't wait to just like get into the rest of the shit. Smash the like button, show some love, get subscribed, and then we'll get into the rest of the shit. But it's good. There's a lot coming. And I've kind of learned to protect my energy and not share exactly what I'm doing until I announce it because then people's negative energy will mess up your good energy and you don't want that kind of energy. So let's go. All right, guys. So. I just wanted to say really quick, in case you guys are wondering, everyone's always asking me about my go-to skincare. It's this guy right here. It's my favorite little tool and it's blooming. So literally with microcurrents and once you turn it on, you put it up to your face. It uses these little microcurrents, which makes this vibration. It feels like a massage, but it lifts, illuminates, rejuvenates, and takes all of the inflammation out of your skin, which is so nice. Um, Definitely check them out. Normally $150, but if you click on the link in the description or pinned to the comment section, you get $70 off. And the best part is, is if you don't absolutely love it, they give you 100% of your money back guaranteed. So let's go. Now, oh man, Tamara Judge. So Tamara Judge, thank you to Reality Blurb, agreed with an Instagram user that Shannon Bedore is an alcoholic and narcissist after sharing clips. And one of the clips was of the upcoming 18th season of The Real Housewives of Orange County. And this was on Monday that spoke of Shannon's DUI and hit and run arrest. Now, following the posting of said clip in which Tamara asked Heather Debro if she thought Shannon had a drinking problem and Emily Simpson questioned Shannon about her post-arrest drinking, Tamara made it clear that she believes Shannon needs help. The wait is almost over, though, because just one more day until the premiere of season 18. Yes. Tamara responded to several of her fans and followers who shared their thoughts on the preview. It's clear to everyone apart from Shannon that she is an alcoholic. I believe she is also very narcissistic because she would have accepted that and got help a long time ago if she didn't continue to live in denial and blame everyone else for her behavior. That's what somebody wrote. And Tamara said, I agree. Then when someone pointed out that the entire cast drinks, Tamara doubled down on her alcoholic claims regarding Shannon, saying there's nothing wrong with drinking, but a lot wrong with being an alcoholic. Another person noted that if Shannon truly is an alcoholic, Bravo and its cast members shouldn't be making a spectacle of her on the show. If she really has an alcohol problem, then shame on all of them, from Bravo down to the cast for using her problems as the show's storyline this season. I'll stop watching if it turns out to be the case. I hope others will too. But according to Tamara, nobody is using her for a storyline. She chose to return to the show. She knew it was going to be a topic of conversation, is what Tamara said. Now someone else said that Shannon's problems being on display made them sad. I agree that she shouldn't drink, but come on. At the same time, these are not real friends constantly telling her what she's doing wrong. There is a way to tell someone, but with being caring. Watching these clips makes me sad because... There are people that struggle with this disease and to use in the show and have people bring you down for ratings. It's all about ratings. It makes me sick. I hope Shannon has someone out of the group that gives her support because by the clips I've seen, it's as if she has no friends at all. And that's why we have so much mental health problems in our world. It makes me sad. Still, Tamara signaled at the fact that Shannon was a willing participant in filming. Then get off the show and go to rehab if you can't let your friends help you and push them all away, is what Tamara said. Now, Tamara also responded to a person who said that she was going to make her storyline all around Shannon drinking. She said, actually, I'm not, but thanks for your uneducated opinion. Ugh. Okay. Actually, I'm not, but thanks for your uneducated opinion. Oi, oi, oi. Oy, oy, oy. All right, guys. So now moving on, I'm going to move on really quick to the Alexis Bellino of it all. Actually, before I get into the Alexis Bellino, I want to share a clip with you guys. 
Thank you to Byway Hello Drama. Here we go. What's going on? Well, um, Gina and I have been friends for a few years now, and we have a very close relationship. And I think that she um, didn't value that relationship mm -hmm. with some other friend. Mm -hmm. And so how do you resolve that? Well, listen, you know, I, I have to say one of Gina's great qualities is she will put everything on the table. And so when we had an issue this season, she laid it all out for me, told me her part in it, and we were eventually able to move past it. I love Gina. We're friends. I mean, unless you do something to my kids, <laughs> I can pretty much come back from anything. What about with Alexis? How are things with Alexis? Great. I mean, I've been friends with Alexis for years mm -hmm. and we became a lot closer in the last few years through our kids. And I've been campaigning for her to come back for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I was excited she was back. What about with Shannon? Because we see that DUI mugshot mm -hmm. in the trailer. Yeah. Shannon, uh, how am I with her or how is she in general? In both. Um, I think Shannon's doing really well. We were just texting the other day. Um, our kids just were at a concert together and we were laughing about that. Um, you know, I think Shannon's in a new chapter of her life and the audience is going to really be interested to see how that unfolds. And then we see Tamara leaving the OC for Big Bear. Does yes. that change the dynamic at all? No, it's a second house. She's just like, <laughs> she's just heading to Big Bear for the weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this season, we see you at odds with Gina. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, doesn't stop there. Nope, nope. It still continues. Thank you to Alexis Bellino for keeping the drama alive. Alexis Bellino is revealing her and John Jansen's plans to get engaged and denying that she broke girl code with Janet. Huh. Okay. Okay. She said, we have looked at engagement rings. That's what she told E! News on July 8th. We are talking about the future for sure. Now, as OC fans may recall, Alexis and John shocked fans when they went official with their relationship in December of last year, causing many to accuse Alexis, who never starred alongside Shannon on the show, of betraying her fellow reality star. She said, I didn't know Shannon, so I did not break a girl code. I didn't know anyone anything, and I wasn't doing anything to rub anything in anyone's face. It was literally timing, and that's why it's reality TV, because you cannot write this script. I'm excited for everyone to honestly understand that it is organic. We've had backlash consistently since the time we met. People think we're doing this as a facade. And it's like, no, this is reality. And we are in love. And our kids are a group now. Our dogs are acclimated. So we're moving forward. It gets better every day. And we both are kind of like pinch me in the fact that we truly found like a best friend and someone that we want to ride the rest of this life out with together. It's pretty amazing. But although she and John are amazing today, Alexis admitted that she was very nervous to return to the show and take a role alongside Janet. I contemplated not even going back because I knew that, you know, what I was throwing myself into. But also I thought to myself, why am I not going to do something I want to do just because I'm dating somebody else's ex-boyfriend? But meanwhile, in another interview, Alexis confirmed that she and John are nearing the one year mark of their relationship. She said, we were friends, we fell in love, and that is what it is. But by the time the season ends, we'll have been together for a year and then it's like, okay, will people just finally let us be? But maybe then we'll just get a breath and be able to live happily. Since the start of their relationship, though, Alexis and John have faced backlash, but it's nothing that they weren't both expecting. She said, it's exciting, but it doesn't go without also understanding that this isn't the easiest path that John and I decided to take. We could have dated anybody else. We tried to keep it like that. That's something that... I'm excited for everyone to understand. We tried to keep it as a friendship only because we both knew. We're not stupid. We've both been in the industry. We both know what this is going to look like and what could be said about it. And we're going to get scrutinized and we're going to be shamed and we're going to be cut down. And But at the end of the day, our feelings were too strong not to move forward. Hmm. But speaking of her return to OC, Alexa said, it's been fun to be back with the ladies, especially now that she has more allies. Huh. When I was on a year ago, there were a lot of friendships that ended up strained. I, or she said years ago, I'm sorry. I was trying too hard. I was not myself. You'll see a different version of Alexis this time. I'm more mature. I'm a woman now. I'm not a girl anymore. I was a girl back then. A lot has changed in that 14 years, but I think that you'll get to see a strong, independent woman this time. 
But as for her friendships with Heather and Tamara, Alexis confirmed that she's mended things with both. I left the show with broken relationships with Heather and Tamara. Tamara and I had been friends off and on when I was filming and Heather and I started as friends, but that was severed during filming. And then Heather went on an apology tour with me when we weren't filming. I was off the show. She was off the show and we were running into each other around Newport. She was just so apologetic about the whole season. And she's like, I've learned a lot. I'm so sorry. And I want to try to be friends. And I eventually forgave her. It took a while. I was kind of snarky. I had to apologize to her too. But enough time went by where I started to see that she was true. And she said that she's in a good place with Tamara, but noted that their relationship may be on shaky ground. We really do adore each other, but that could change tomorrow. I'm sure there's going to be some turmoil or something that's going to tick me off or her off. Friendship is real. Hmm. Okay. All right, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. So pop off in the comment section, please. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.